This is how we can take our local instance of N8 10 in Docker to the production ready level with Cloudflare so that your local instance of N8 10 can talk to your third party apps and services like Google, Slack and Telegram with webhooks. By the end of the video, you'll know everything to set up N8 10 with Cloudflare tunnels with no code setup. I'm going to walk you through the step by step process even if you are an absolute beginner. So let's get started with setting up Cloudflare account. Like I mentioned before, we are going to set up tunnels on the Cloudflare. So we have to go to cloudflare.com. This is how Cloudflare looks like. And we are going to create an account in the Cloudflare using sign up options. Cloudflare offers many services other than tunnels. It offers free CD and DNS management, security features, domain registration, and even more. After logging to the Cloudflare, the first step we are going to do is to set up our domain. There are a lot of domain registrars out there in the industry. We have Namecheap, Hostinger, GoDaddy, even Cloudflare have domain registration. If you wish to buy your domain in the Cloudflare, it is fine. But I host all my domains in the Hostinger. So head over to the Google, then go to Hostinger.com and in the search options, you can search your preferable domain you want and then hit search. Then the available domain extensions is showing in the dashboard. Uh, then make it yours. Uh, it is taking you to the cart. And in the cart, you can choose the period, whether it is one year, two years or three years. For the one year, it will cost you around $10. You can click on new to make it yours. Buying a domain is as simple as that. But if you have around $100 in your pocket and you are very serious into bringing your website into live, you need to take the referable four years business hosting plan. Then you will get free website for one year. If you wish to use my coupon code Rohit455 in the checkout, you will get 20% off and I'll get some bucks as a commission. If you don't want hosting, then go with the only domain option. After buying domain, let's get into the hosting up panel. This is how hosting up panel looks like with home, websites, domains. You need to go to the domains, domain portfolio and you can choose your domain. Your, your domain is appears here. It is a status active one. You can go to edit DNS zone. Go to edit DNS zone. Here you need to change the Hostinger name servers with the Cloudflare name servers. Before going to the Cloudflare, save your Hostinger name servers and DNS records somewhere else safe. Now you need to add your domain that you bought in your domain register. Whatever register you use, the process is same. Now change the name servers in the Cloudflare once. After logging to the Cloudflare, the first step we are going to do is to set up our domain. Quick scan for DNS records and hit continue. Then you need to go to select plan, uh, free, free plan is enough for you. Then you can review your DNS records here. Whatever hosting a domain a DNS records there, it is showing here. And you need to check the DNS records and then you need to go to the bottom of the page, continue to activate. Then it is redirecting you to the, then it is redirecting you to the login to your DNS provider. And uh, it is showing the name servers, uh, we need to replace Cloudflare with the Hostinger. So we need to copy these Cloudflare name servers and paste it to the Hostinger. So uh, the domain is pointing from the Hostinger to the Cloudflare. So let's get started and copy the first name server and paste it in the Hostinger. We need to choose the change name servers in the Hostinger and then paste our first name server then we need to copy the second name server in the cloud fair and paste it in the hostinger click save then the name servers is pasted in the hostinger now asking us to choose a plan go with the free plan that all we need to do our work then it is showing that we have to wait for the 24 hours to reflect the changes that we made but usually it might take up to half an hour to reflect the changes you made now, as we see in the top left corner, invalid name servers need to be changed to the valid. Then only we can create Cloudflare tunnels. In the meantime, I will tell you what is the tunnel in the simple words. Cloudflare tunnel acts like a secure bridge between our local N8 instance and the internet. It hides our real server IP and gives us a safe connection. Once the tunnel is created, Cloudflare connects everything to our custom domain. For example, instead of typing a random IP address, I can just go to n10.rohitkrishna.com in my browser, my n10 is live. So in short, Docker runs n10, Cloudflare tunnel secures the connection and we access it safely with our custom domain. Simple, powerful and production ready. 
Now after waiting for the 5 minutes, my name service is active in the Cloudflare. Till now, we are in the domain dashboard in the Cloudflare. Now onwards, we need to go to the tunnel dashboard to create the tunnel. So head over to the Zero Trust dashboard and choose your unique team name. So I am choosing my unique team name as Anit and Rohit. Then hit next. Choose a plan you want. Uh, you need to select zero dollars plan and hit continue with free plan. Then it will take you to the Zero Trust home. Then you need to go to the network section and click on tunnels. Then you need to add a tunnel and select Cloudflare and name your tunnel. You can give any name you want. I am giving my name as Rohit, N A T N Rohit. Now it's going to ask you to choose the operating system. If you are using Windows system, you can choose 64-bit or 32-bit option. Then you need to install the required connector file and run it. Once you download it and run the con run that connector, you need to run the terminal as administrator and run the following commands that contain token to install the services to connect your tunnel to the local system to Cloudflare. Coming to the Mac, you need to follow the command given here you need to copy the command here which is having authentication token you need to paste it in your terminal then cloudflare will install if you did not install brew in your local mission then the command not found brew error is coming so you need to install brew in your local system for that you need to copy this command and paste it in your terminal then it is asking your password and you can give your password and the, then the brew installs after installing the brew we need to go to the cloudflare and copy that the copy the command and we need to install the cloudflare in the terminal and then the cloudflare will install successfully then you can see in the bottom section connector status connected when you see this you successfully connected to the cloudflare tunnel to your local machine correctly so then we go ahead and route the tunnel from localhost port to the custom subdomain we created further. We need to add our public host name, subdomain and domain. In the subdomain section, we need to give any name you want. In my case, I give any 10 and in the domain section, I give my domain name rohitkrishna.com. Here the service type is HTTP and URL is the local host column 5678 as the local instance URL name. You can leave the you can leave those additional settings as it is and complete the setup. Then you completed your tunnel and successfully routed your local host traffic to the custom subdomain you bought. Now we have given local host column 5678 as the address of the N10 instance to the Cloudflare, but actually we didn't create the 10h10 instance in our local. Now we need to install the docker and run that na 10 instance in the local host colon 5678. Docker is a platform for developing, shipping and running applications in isolated environment called containers. It packages na 10 and all its dependencies into a single unit. Now let's create the na 10 instance in live. For that, you need to go to the local folder and create a folder anywhere in the drive. I name my folder as n 10 local. Inside this folder, we need to create a docker-compose.yml file in order to install the n 10 to local via docker. In the description, I will provide the YAML file that I have created. You can download it and customize based on your needs. We need to go to the YAML file. Inside this YAML file, we have request steps to install n 10 very smoothly. In the webhook URL section, we need to give the subdomain we have created in the Cloudflare and this n 10 protocol HTTP. Generic time zone is critical for ensuring the time-based workflows and cron jobs. This n 10 community package enabled environment variable are set it to true explicitly and then n 10 default binary data mode we can set it to file system. Here, two types of data storage in the self-hosted n 10 instance. First one is persistent data that we can store in the docker volume by using the ML file. But binary data that is files like PDF images that is part of the workflows defaultly stores in the RAM memory of the local computer. When the memory increases, those files occupy more RAM inside our computer. Then our local machine performance decreases. Further, 
we need to change the binary data to the file system. Then we need to set these environment variables and click save. Then we need to open the terminal inside the n and local folder where docker-compose.ml file is located. This file does all the magic. We need to run the command docker-compose-up-t. This command is used to create and start the server defined in your YAML file in the background. Docker-compose Docker -compose is the command line tool for running multi-container Docker applications. It reads and executes the instructions in your docker-compose YAML file. Now, up builds, creates and starts the container for all the services defined in your compose file. Dash D stands for detacher mode. Now, NATN will set up and run inside the container on our machine. Now we need to set up our n account. Give email, first name, last name, password and click next. Then you can customize your n and then get started. Now you are inside in the n and you can build your custom workflows using webhooks you want. You can build your n workflows whatever you want and use webhooks wherever you want. You can do magics with your n workflows. Before we close, I want to invite you to my school community, a dedicated space for automation and AI learners for free. I will share the link in the description box. I am planning to structure tutorials, workflow templates designed to help you go from beginner to advanced step by step with the support of like-minded learners and builders. If you are serious about mastering n and AI automations, the link is in the description box. Join us and start building today.